Red Dead Online launched a week ago today, and they're still... Ah! There's still one really big problem <laughs> with Red Dead... <laughs> With red Would it open your eyes? I said open your damn eyes, you lazy son of a gun. Arthur? Yeah, it's me. Aren't you supposed to be talking about Red Dead Online? Whatever that is. Oh, I'm kind of sick right now, Arthur. I've been coughing my lungs up. Oh, yeah? I can't imagine what that's like. It's probably tuberculosis. Okay, it's not tuberculosis. You might be dying, Feli. Better make that Red Dead Online video while you still can. Okay, I... You think he's gonna do it, Arthur? Honestly, John, he might even be lazier than you are. <laughs> I'm not lazy. I have a family, Arthur. What you have is excuses, John. You know what? I'm glad you're sick. Both of you. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, all right. I'll do the freaking video. Just leave me alone. I insist. He insists. No, I didn't mean... Okay. <coughs> this one's for you, Arthur. As I'm sure a lot of you already know if you watched my video on the game, Red Dead Redemption is my personal game of the year. I just absolutely adore the game, and without going back into it because I've already made that video, the world building and how much fun you can have just exploring the land of Red Dead Redemption. And that is why I was so looking forward to Red Dead Online. The idea of jumping into the world of Red Dead Redemption with my friends had me on the edge of my seat. I was was counting down the days. I even bought the ultimate edition of the game just so I could dive into the online beta a few days earlier than anyone else. And I know, I know, it's a beta. We're not all the way there yet. There are still so many things to come. But at the same time, there's so many things Rockstar stripped out of the main game for online and I, I just don't see a reason for it. Before we talk about all the things that are missing in the online, let's talk about what it actually does have. And bear in mind, while I am disappointed with the current state of Red Dead Online, I'm not that mad about it. I mean, it's a free add-on. I didn't have to pay anything extra on top of getting the game. I've already got my $60 out of Red Dead Redemption, but at the same time, there are things that just make no sense to me. One thing that Rockstar boasted about the online was that it was going to have its own story, and yeah, it does, kind of. It's a very basic story, and it only lasts a couple hours. And once you're done with the story, that's when you realize there's really nothing left to do. There is one really big highlight to this story, though, and if you don't like spoilers, skip ahead about 30 seconds. In the last act, you dress up as Ned Kelly. They don't say the words Ned Kelly, but they put you in this big armored suit, and they refer to it being an Australian suit, and for those that don't know who Ned Kelly is, I'm pretty sure he's really the only cool outlaw that we ever had in Australia. And you get to dress up as him. It was just a really cool moment for me and my friend playing because we're both Australian. The story missions are okay. They're not as varied as the single player missions. They're very shooty shooty bang bang. But all in all, the online story, it was enjoyable for what it was. Then you finish the online story and what you're left with is a bunch of strangers throughout the world that you can go and talk to and every single one of them will just give you a fetch quest. The most common two, you'll get all the time is a mail bag that you have to ride around within a time limit and drop off mail to people. Honestly, this one is the most boring of all of these because you do it on your own, whether you're in a posse or not. The only saving grace here is that it's hilarious watching your character try and throw the mail into the box. I must have done this at least 30 times now and I've never seen him actually make the shot once. And then the other fetch quests have you doing things like taking wagons from A to B. It's all very mundane. The only highlight is that other players can try and interrupt and sabotage what you're doing and if they succeed, then they get their rewards and you don't. But that, for whatever reason, never seems to actually happen. The only time you'll be harassed on these missions is by the NPC characters the game throws at you. No one else really seems to care, and I think that's because the reward is so low. Even you yourself successfully completing these missions, you get barely anything for it. A dollar and fifty cents if you're lucky. It can buy you a can of beans. And these things can take up to 15 minutes sometimes, riding something from point A to point B, and you only get enough to heal your stamina one 
one time in a fight? And that does go into the whole issue of the economy in this game. It's completely trash. The mail missions give you like 44 cents when you drop something off and you're telling me that a gun costs hundreds of dollars? How much mail do I have to deliver? What a chore. This has given me flashbacks to Universal Studios on GameCube where I have to walk around picking up trash, completing a chore before I can actually play anything fun. And honestly, that is pretty much everything in the world of Red Dead Online. And that's very underwhelming. I've already explained everything you can do in the free roam. There's no mini games. This is what I was getting to. This is what I was missing. Why is there no poker? Why is there no blackjack? No five finger fillet? No dominoes? Where is everything? I truly don't understand and it might just be me, but this is the most fun I would have in the game. Sitting down with my friends or even random people that blow through town and challenging them to a few rounds of poker and trying to take a few dollars from them. Especially when everything costs so much in the game and you earn so little by doing missions. Can you imagine even taking two dollars from someone in a hand of poker? That's a good day's work right there. That is a huge part of the game that's missing for me. This is what I wanted. Weeks leading up to the online beta, every time I talked about the online with my friends, I was saying I can't wait to play poker with you guys. I can't wait to just live in this world with you and you just can't. I wanted to go on road trips with my friends all the way from Tumbleweed up into the mountains, stopping in little shanty towns on the way where we could buy a hot meal at the saloon and then take a bath. But again, things like that are just left out. The menu is sat right there on the bar in the saloons, but you can't order anything. Why? It's a little feature that made the single player so enjoyable and you've just stripped it out of the online for seemingly no reason. It takes away all of that world building. It takes away all the little niceties that made Red Dead Redemption what it was. And what are you left with? Guns. That's it, shooting people. You can't seem to go two steps in this game, especially in a town without getting your head blown off. And it's really not fun and you can't blame anyone. You can't be like, well, it's a bunch of 13 year olds playing Red Dead, all they wanna do is shoot people. No, it's, it's even me sometimes. I get so bored, there's nothing left to do but pick on people. The entire game just becomes shooty shooty bang bang. When you meet a player, he shoots you because there's nothing else he can do. And you guys know this, cause I talked about it in my Red Dead video. One of my favorite things to do in the game is just go fishing. I love fishing fishing in video games. Fortunately, you can do this in Red Dead Online, but for some reason you had to buy the fishing rod from a shop and they locked it behind level 13. Fishing essentially has become the only mini game in the game you can actually do with your friends and they lock it behind level 13. It took my friend and I over 10 hours of playing the online to hit level 13 so we could buy this freaking fishing rod. And having finished the story mode after two hours, what that led to was us doing these really boring fetch quests again and again and again and then doing the online matchmaking and the online matchmaking is something you can queue up in and then you can go through a series of game types and shoot people that's all it is it's shooty game after shooty game and you get experience and money that way once we'd finally grinded our way to that fishing rod rode out to a lake and started fishing we caught a few fish and we were just so burnt out on the game at that point just the, the fight the struggle to get to the fishing rods and we only fished for about 10 minutes and then we didn't play again for a few days we were just so burnt out on it we could only catch up to medium fish that I, I could go on a fishing rant this video could all be about the fishing honestly you could only catch medium fish because the other types of baits and lures were locked behind insane levels like level 30 I can't even imagine how long it would take me to get to level Level 30. So I guess what I'm saying is unless you really like fishing in Red Dead Redemption There's not much to do in the free roam world once you finish the main story However, something really cool about the online is that it just works from the very first day I played I entered a server with a ton of players and I just existed in that world in all of my hours I think I've only been kicked from a server one time So as far as a beta test goes, I would say that side of it's been very successful The only issue I've come across is very regularly. I'll find that everyone in my server just just disappears. It's really weird. Even if I'm playing with friends in my posse, we'll all stay in the same map, but it's like everyone else just went away. And the game doesn't try to add anyone back in ever. If you want to find players, you have to leave and find another server. But at least you stay in the server. You can continue completing whatever missions you're doing or hunting, or actually just have some peace and quiet for a while if you want. However, an argument can be made just like with any of these games. Sea of Thieves, Fallout 76, <coughs> Fallout 70, <coughs> that game, you name it. Any any of these online games is an argument that can be made for you can have fun with your friends in whatever online experience you want. So if there ever was an argument to be made that there is a ton of fun to be had in Red Dead Online, let me make that argument myself. 
Here you go. Bro, oh, shit, I'm near the edge. edge. I'm trying to throw you off. Get, get down. Oh, get shit. down. Make it a comeback. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Did I get you? <laughs> you got me. Oh, but I hit, I hit the curve. Oh man. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh. <laughs> oh, the still frame of my death is so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the noise you made when you fell. Give it here. <laughs> <laughs> the way it went around your body was so good. Oh, I'll bring you your turkey. Do what you want with me, but leave the turkey. <laughs> Is this your turkey? Is this your turkey? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I want you to watch this. No. You sit right there, say goodbye to your beloved turkey as it gets washed out to sea. Go get your turkey, boy. Break out. Go get your turkey, boy. It's not too late. Oh. No. Meal the turkey. Meal the turkey. <laughs> Turkey! <laughs> okay. oh. Wait, 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 okay, okay. Go get your turkey, go get your turkey. It's still there, I can see it getting away. It's okay, I can still pick it up. You've proved yourself a man. You've initiated yourself into my posse. That was the test. Oh, <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh sh I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you think you're a real man? You think you've got what it takes to come against me? God, I'm a real man. <laughs> oh, oh! Hi. Oh, 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 oh. oh! I'm dangling. <laughs> oh! 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 You were once my friend. I've been hunting you for days, Sky Ice. <laughs> we end this here and we end this now. You took my turkey. Meet me in the middle, damn it. I am it. And on the count of three, I'm gonna watch you bleed to death, boy. Three. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Boy! Go meet your turkey in hell! <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you be stealing that guy's horse! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were in the jumping position! <laughs> that one was perfect! <laughs> that one was perfect! <laughs> oh! Oh! Look at me going around the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Started and there's the spear. Oh! Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> You're just beating him. That guy stopped to watch you beat up a dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> Why did he stop to watch you? <laughs> You're next, buddy. Yeah. Whoa, where did he go? <laughs> what? Where did he go? Rockstar, I know you don't owe us anything. You don't owe me anything. You already gave me a game that was well worth the price I paid, and I already adore it so much that I kind of wish it got Game of the Year. Still happy for God of War, though, trust me. But please, please give me mini games in Red Dead Online. It's all I want. Give me my poker, give me my gambling, give me all of that. Give me the world that is Red Dead Redemption because you haven't yet. I know it's in beta, so I'm really hoping that the reason these things aren't in it is because it's beta, but that doesn't make sense to me. Like, th this should be the things that you're testing because these are the things people want. At least I want to believe it's the things people want. I'm sure that not everyone just wants to go around killing people for hours on end. But I'm just one man with one man's opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in those comments down below. So, some of you might be wondering how I had that little conversation between Arthur John and I at the start of this video. Well, those voices were actually provided by Sounds Like Pizza on YouTube. He is extremely 
extremely talented at voice impressions. And if you liked my little segment of playing Red Dead Redemption with my friend, just wait until you watch Sounds Like Pizza play the game with his Arthur impression. It's freaking hilarious. Did you just wave at me? I'm about to shoot you in the face and you waving at me? So thank you to my fellow Aussie Sounds Like Pizza for helping me with this video. Make sure to go check him out. If you like this video or you learned a little something, make sure you hit flip all over that subscribe button. Click or tap on this video right here because I'd really appreciate it. As you can see, I have new shirts as well as a ugly Christmas sweater, which you can now buy. Links down below. It looks really cool. And ugh, ugh, oh, I really have to see a doctor.